Hello my dear family members, today's session is also going to be very unique. Believe me, after watching this video, you will insist me to upload next video as well. I hope you know from networking security, only few chapters are important for Capgemini. And in this video series, I am going to cover all the chapters one by one with this year and previous year on campus questions on those topics. This is the second video, if you missed the first one, then you must watch that video through the link given in the description box or from the recent section. If you try to skip any moment of this video, then you are going to miss an important part without any doubt. Today we will cover the chapter attack type. So let's start with the first question. But before proceeding, I would like to inform you that I have prepared a prime materials for Capgemini. If you want, then knock me at my insta id instagram.com slash techno.uf. Okay, let's see. Before we start the first question, let me show you all important attacks and their definition. This will be more clear while question answer session. So the first attack is denial of service DOS attack. A DOS attack is an attempt to make a system or network resource unavailable to its intended users, typically by overwhelming it with a flood or traffic. So examples most important that is synchronous flood, right? And distributed denial of service that is DDoS attack. DDoS attack involves multiple components compromised computers that flood a target system with traffic to cause a service disruption. Okay, the example is IoT based DDoS attack, right? And MITM attack that is man in the middle attack. It is an attacker intercepts and possibly alters communication between two parties without their knowledge or consent, right? Many Wi-Fi related uh, issues, Wi-Fi related attacks are happened here, right? And the phishing attack, most important attacks is this. So the question, the other definition of phishing attack is uh, it involves tricking individuals into revealing sensitive information often via deceptive emails or websites. So emails spoofing, fake banking websites. So these type of examples we can cover in the phishing attack, right? And Trojan horse attack. This is not so often asked, but important a little. But where I didn't mark red, these are not important, but you can read, right? Okay, now let's read about ransomware attack. Ransomware encrypts a user's files and demands a ransom for their release, effectively holding data hostage, right? And the cross-site uh, scripting attack, that is XSS attacks, injects malicious scripts into web applications, which are then executed by users' browsers, compromising user data, right? And SQL injection attack, this is important, very important. Right, so SQL injection attacks exploit vulnerabilities in input fields to manipulate a database and access unauthorized data, right? And brute force attack, it is also important but not often asked, but example is important, right? Password guessing or SSH brute force attacks, uh, the, they, that they may ask from example, right? Okay, spam attack, it's very important, it is repeatedly asked exam, right? So spam involves sending large volumes of unwanted and unsolicited email often for the purpose of marketing or distributing malware, right? So this is very important. So cross-site request forgery attack that is CSRF, right? CSRF attacks trick users into performing actions on trusted website without their consent exploiting their trust, right? So changing password or transaction related uh, examples can be taken, right? So spoofing attack is also an important so mainly IP spoofing, email spoofing uh, are important for this exam. So spoofing attacks actually involves faking the source or identifying electronic communication to deceive recipients, right? So wherever I marked red, these are important and asked in the exam. So please give importance to them first. I mean, give priorities to them first, then read the others, right? Okay, let's see the questions. Then this will be more clear, right? So question is which of the following is a type of attack where an attacker intercepts and possibly alters communication between two parties without their knowledge. So phishing man in the middle uh, DDoS or ransomware which type of attack. Okay I hope you have read the diagram. So answer will be man in the middle MITM attack right. So the next question is this. So what type of attack aims to overload a network or service without an excessive amount of traffic to disrupt its normal functioning, phishing, social engineering, denial of service or malware. So the answer will be denial of service, right? DOS attack. I hope you have read and giving the answers by yourself, right? 
Okay, the next question is this which attack involves tricking individuals into revealing sensitive information such as passwords or credit card numbers usually through deceptive uh, deceptive emails or websites. This is very important and suggestive questions, right? So what will be the answer? Please pause and give me the answer in the comment section before I answer, right? Okay, the answer will be actually phishing, right? Hello, my dear family members. I am very happy to inform you that the prime materials for Capgemini is ready now in which I have included all the previous technical questions from DSA, networking security, cloud computing, pseudocode and computer fundamentals and all the coding questions along with the previous year game based aptitudes. So if you want then knock me at my insta id instagram.com slash techno.uf I will provide you. Okay let's go to the next question that is a quiz question for you if you have read the diagram very carefully then you can answer this right so which of the which type of attack injects malicious code into a web applications input fields to manipulate its database or gain unauthorized access phishing or xss or spoofing or port scanning i hope you will give the answers of this quiz and this quiz as well which attack disguises malicious code as a legitimate program or file to deceive users into executing it so phishing spoofing trojan horse or worm so please give me the answer in the comment section all together all question right so the next question is this what type of attack involves sending large volumes of unwanted email to overwhelm an email server or user's inbox actually this question was asked repeatedly right in off campus as well and on campus and previously asked as well so the answer will be spam right okay the next question is this is very important question what attack exploits vulnerabilities in an applications input input field to manipulate database and access unauthorized data the answer will be sql injection right please remember this this will be very important and will be helpful in your exam right guys there is a note for you that is sometime you will be asked about definition that is what is the ransomware and option will be given you have to opt the correct answer among them so actually this question was asked that's why i included it here right okay let's go to the next question that is uh, questions are asked from example that is uh, the attacks example right so the syn flooding attacks belong to a group of security attacks known as dash attack so i hope you have read this right so let's see where is the syn flood attack that is dos right the example of dos so the correct answer will be dos right okay i hope you have got it so the next question is which of the following usually observe each activity on the internet of the victim gather all information in the background and send it to somewhere else someone else so actually i didn't discuss in the diagram but uh, let me explain it here so the answer will be spyware right actually it is generally defined as the software designed to enter the target's device or computer system gather all information observe all user activities and send this information to a third party right so this is actually spyware okay the next question is dash is a type of software designed to help the user's computer detect viruses and avoid them actually this question was asked on on campus drive this might seem very easy but this was asked and repeatedly asked so the answer will be antivirus right Okay, the next question is which one of the following usually used in the process of Wi-Fi hacking? Aircrack NG, Wireshark, Norton, or all of the above? What will be the correct answer? Okay, let me explain or answer this. So answer will be Aircrack NG. Actually, the Aircrack NG is a kind of software program available in the Linux-based operating systems such as Parrot, Kali, etc. Right, which is used to process the Wi-Fi hacking. Right. Okay, the next question is a quiz question for you. Hackers usually used the computer virus for dash purpose to lock monitors each and every user's stroke to gain access to the sensitive information like user's ID and passwords to corrupt the user's data stored in the computer system or all of the above. What will be the correct answer? Please give me the answer in the comment section, right? Okay, the next question is in Wi-Fi security, which of the following protocol is more used? WPA, WPA2, WPS, or both A and C what will be the correct answer okay without delay i am answering the correct answer will be wpa2 right so i hope this video was helpful and informative to you if you think please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding network based question right and please guys contribute some thanks to me thank you for today's session